The ProPilot Assist system is a hands-on driver assistance system that provides limited lane keeping, throttle and brake control assistance for the driver. It is not a self-driving system. It uses an enhanced version of Intelligent Cruise Control, or ICC system, along with a steering assist system to help maintain both distance from preceding vehicles and vehicle lane centering. The steering assist system uses a multi-sensing camera unit installed behind the windshield to monitor the lane markers. If clear, consistent lane markers are present, the steering assist provides small steering corrections to help keep your vehicle near the center of the lane while driving. Steering assist will activate at speeds above approximately 37 miles per hour if there are no vehicles detected ahead. In traffic with a preceding vehicle, Steering Assist will work down to a stop. When in operation, the Steering Assist Indicator, the Steering Assist Display, and the Lane Marker Indicator on the Vehicle Information Display turn green and a chime will sound when it initially activates. When deactivated, these indicators turn gray and a chime sounds twice. The Intelligent Lane Intervention, or ILI system, will also be active while using the Steering Assist system. If the steering assist system cannot maintain the lane and begins to cross over the lane markers, the ILI will provide an audible warning and the lane markers on the visual display will turn yellow and flash. The system will also momentarily apply the brakes to help the driver return the vehicle to the traveling lane. The enhanced version of ICC uses a radar sensor to monitor the speed of and distance to the vehicle in front of you. If the radar sensor detects a slower moving vehicle ahead, the system will reduce the vehicle speed. ICC operates when the vehicle set speed is approximately 20 miles per hour and above. If your vehicle comes closer to the vehicle ahead due to rapid deceleration of that vehicle, the system warns the driver with a chime and the vehicle ahead detection indicator flashes. Decelerate by depressing the brake pedal to maintain a safe vehicle distance. When the vehicle ahead slows to a stop, your vehicle will decelerate to a standstill. Once your vehicle stops, the ICC system will keep the vehicle stopped. If your vehicle is stopped for less than three seconds and the vehicle ahead begins to move, your vehicle will start moving again automatically. If you were stopped for more than three seconds, you can press the resume switch or the accelerator pedal to resume system operation and begin moving. The ICC system may also inform the driver that a vehicle has moved into your traveling lane near your vehicle by flashing the vehicle ahead detection indicator. With the ICC system engaged at speeds above 37 miles per hour, following a slower vehicle traveling in the same lane and the left blinker is activated, the ICC system will briefly start to accelerate the vehicle to help initiate passing on the left by reducing the distance to the vehicle directly ahead. As you steer the vehicle into the passing lane and no vehicle is detected, the ICC system will continue to accelerate to your set speed. When another vehicle is detected ahead, the ICC system will match that vehicle's speed up to the previously set cruising speed. When the vehicle is not steered into the left lane, the acceleration will stop after a short time and the ICC system will return to the previously set vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle distance setting. You can stop the acceleration at any time by pressing cancel or tap your brake pedal. The set indicator light will turn off to resume cruising at your last set speed, push up on the Resume Plus switch. The set light will turn on again. To turn the ProPilot Assist system on, push the ProPilot Assist switch. First, a temporary pop-up will display the status of several driver assisting technologies, and then the status of the ProPilot Assist system will appear. Now, accelerate or decelerate your vehicle to the desired speed. Push the set switch and release it. The ProPilot Assist Activation Indicator and ProPilot Assist Status Indicator illuminate. Steering Assist will continue to operate if the wipers are set to the intermittent or missed position and clear lane markers can be detected. If the wiper switch is placed in the low or high speed position, the Steering Assist system will be canceled after a period of time. If this occurs, push the cancel switch, then the resume switch to resume operation. 
While active, the ProPilot Assist System monitors the steering wheel to confirm the driver has their hands on the steering wheel. If no hands are detected, the No Hands on Wheel sequence will begin. First, this visual warning will be displayed in the vehicle information display. Next, this visual warning will flash along with a series of escalating audible alerts, followed by a brake pulsation. If no steering input is still detected, an emergency audible alert will sound. The hazard flashers turn on and the vehicle will slowly be brought to a stop in the traveling lane. If steering input is detected during any of these warnings, the no hands on wheel sequence will be canceled and the Pro Pilot Assist will resume. If the Pro Pilot Assist system malfunctions, it will be turned off automatically. A chime will sound and a warning will appear in the vehicle information display. When a warning light comes on, stop the vehicle in a safe place, turn the power switch off, and turn the power switch back on. If the warning continues to illuminate, there may be a malfunction. Although normal driving can be continued, the system should be inspected. It is recommended that you visit a Nissan certified LEAF dealer for this service. Using this switch located on the instrument panel, you can turn the steering assist on and off. To enable or disable the steering assist, press the right or left arrow button until settings displays. Press the up or down arrow button to highlight driver assistance and press the OK button. Select Steering Assist, then press the OK button to toggle the system on or off. Please see your owner's manual for important safety information, system limitations, and additional operating and feature information.